Hello and welcome to Montgomery College's one and only student-produced newscast, MC In Focus. I'm Miguel Kino, here with the latest local stories, starting with some news on the Maryland Legislature. 79 new legislations are coming to the state of Maryland. On Tuesday afternoon, Governor Larry Hogan signed bills presented at the General Assembly. As the governor's term comes to an end, WBAL-TV reported that he wants to thank the legislators on both sides of the aisle for working together with us in a bipartisan way. Among the dozens of bills passed, here are a few that may impact you as an MC student. An increase in local budgets for highway repairs, curbing greenhouse gas emissions, abortion rights expansion, and the ban of untraceable firearms. Don't worry if you don't have all 79 of those bills memorized. Most won't take effect until later this summer. This week, MC Rockville had a special guest appearance from County Council Member at Large, Evan Glass. It was an informative event featuring a lecture and Q&A about Glass's career in journalism and government. Council Member Glass oversees the over 1.1 million people across Montgomery County. Media students of all kinds were in attendance. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that we have invested in Montgomery College. You can become a go-to person. And once someone goes to you often enough, they'll elevate you and they'll give you more responsibility and more opportunities. And that's exactly what happened with me at CNN. And it got to the point where I was given another responsibility and I just couldn't do it anymore. And so I created, I left and created an opportunity for somebody else. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. If you're interested in connecting with Councilmember Glass, you can reach out to him via social media or his official website. Are you looking for some extra work this summer? Montgomery County Recreation is putting on its third job fair this month. It'll be held on the 24th of April from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Wheaton Community Recreation Center on Georgia Avenue. Walk-in interviews are first come, first serve, so register online using the link on screen if you want priority. Positions are available in aquatics, after school programs, and summer camps, just to name a few. So, if you've got some time next Sunday, consider dropping by the Wheaton Social Hall to find your next resume item. Join WDCE on June 24th for Disney's approach to leadership excellence. MC Workforce Development and Continuing Education welcomes Disney Institute on Friday, June 24th, 2022 for Disney's approach to leadership excellence program. This is a rare opportunity for you to participate in a Disney Institute experience at MC. This full day event will give students and professionals an opportunity to think differently about how you work. You'll learn Disney's time-tested leadership strategies and methods for improving team productivity and business results. Disney Institute travels to select cities each year, and we're fortunate that this year the course is set right here. Participants get the same world-renowned Disney Institute content taught by Disney leaders, but you don't have to incur the expense of travel yourself. The program will be held on the Germantown campus in Globe Hall. Space will be limited to allow for social distancing. So, for our details, investments, and way to register, please go to montgomerycollege.edu or contact social, I'm sorry, contact student services if you have questions. A local carnival is back at Westfield Mall and will operate throughout the weekend. The carnival will have rides, free food, and prizes for those who, pay, for those who play the various carnival games. It'll operate on, week, on weekdays from 5 p.m. to close, Fridays from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m., Saturdays from 1 p.m. to 11, and Sundays from 3 p.m. to close. Tickets will also vary in price, with one weekday wristband being $27 and one weekend wristband costing $30. Come and witness the carnival magic before it leaves on April the 19th. There's more to come for those who stay tuned to MC in Focus. We'll be right back after these messages. staple for students in Montgomery County for over 70 years. In that time, we have been recognized as one of the best community colleges in Maryland. Not only is MC affordable, but it also has a high population of diverse students. Our financial aid has helped over thousands of students and could even help you. We can't wait for you to join us and become an MC Raptor.
Water is a precious resource that should be protected. Too often we take this truth for granted. We frequently harm the environment without realizing it. But there are things we can all do to help. If we all do our part, we can keep our waters safe. Learn more about how you can help by contacting your local environmental group. Welcome back. Development continues on the new Ike Leggett building at MC's Tacoma Park campus. Here's MC in Focus reporter Chris Wirtz with a brief update. The Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus is getting a facelift a new math and science building. Construction of the Catherine and Isaiah Leggett building began in November of 2019. However, for many students, this is the first time they're seeing all the commotion. Commotion that will yield many benefits and unbelievable opportunities for students and the community. Uh, we're really excited about the new building. We'll be in it sometime in late 23, early 24. It is a brand new one, 100,000 square foot math and science facility. Uh, it has labs in it for biology, chemistry, cybersecurity, mathematics, engineering, physics, and even landscape architecture. Located in the heart of Silver Spring, this 108,000 square foot facility replaces the outdated science services building, planetarium, and Falcon Hall. Every student graduating from MC with an associate's degree needs 12 hours of math and science credit. This facility will provide state-of-the-art classrooms, science labs, and meeting spaces. There's even a 100-seat planetarium. MC recently held a topping-off ceremony to signify the tallest beam being set in place. For some, this was also an opportunity to reflect on the legacy of who it's named after. Ike Leggett is a Montgomery County political icon. He was one of the first African-American members of the Montgomery County Council, uh, and I believe he was the first African-American county executive. He had three terms on the county council and two terms as county executive. And through all of those terms, he was a huge supporter of Montgomery College, as was his wife, Catherine. We feel seen and validated the new Leggett building will ensure that all Montgomery College students will have easy access to classroom and labs to complete degree requirements. That's the meaning of equity. This building is tied directly to our mission statement. Our mission statement says we empower students to change their lives through education. Uh, this building will provide top-notch 21st century educational facilities, uh, especially for our health science students. Students and staff can expect to be in this new facility near the end of 2023 and beginning of 2024. For MC in Focus, I'm Chris Wirtz. I am looking forward to seeing that building. It's going to be amazing. What's new in the world of sports and entertainment? Let's turn it over to our MC in, Fo in Focus <coughs> reporter, Tyler Simone, to find out. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, actor Johnny Depp filed a defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, actress Amber Heard, over accusations of domestic abuse. The trial took place at a courthouse in the city of Fairfax. The courthouse closed to the, to the public last Monday due to fans lining up before 7 a.m. to gain access to the trial. Hopefully things work out for the best. A young soul has unfortunately left us. Pers Pers Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Hackens, excuse me, <clears throat> dude died when when he was struck by a dug truck Saturday morning, a April the 10th. According to authorities, he was crossing a highway on foot in South Florida. He was just 24 years old. There will be funeral services for him in Pittsburgh and Maryland. May he rest in paradise. WrestleMania 38 took place at an AT&T stadium in Arlington, Texas in the beginning of April. 
Many WWE stars such as Roman Reigns, Sasha Banks, and others went home with the championship titles. It was an exciting night, and just like MC in Focus, highlights clips can be found on YouTube. No mask? No problem. Montgomery County High Schools and 8th grade promotion ceremonies will be held without pub pandemic restrictions from the first time in over two years. Congratulations to all, and go class of 2022. Well, that's all I have for the say for now. Back to you, Miguel. Are you excited to get back to graduation? Oh, most definitely. This is my last semester. We can be done playing all these games. It's time to get back to normal. I'm excited to be there. I hope to see you there. All right, me too. Yes. Um, a local filmmaker is set to host a talk on the Rockville campus. Let's turn it over once again to Chris Wirtz for more on the story. The Montgomery College Arts Institute is returning to in-person events. Next Tuesday, April 19th, filmmaker and faculty member Brian Reichard will discuss the process and his experience of creating his recent documentaries, Anacostia Delta, The Legacy of DC Telemasters, and pictures of a Hiroshima schoolyard. This is the best time ever to be a documentarian or a filmmaker. American audiences, even if you knew the story of Hiroshima, this is definitely a different take. It's an uplifting story about Hiroshima, which is rare. Well, the inspiration for this film, pictures from Hiroshima schoolyard, is the seeing the pictures themselves and knowing where they came from. So I will talk about how I approached each one, how I got into each one, and what I learned from each one. Join us at 3 p.m. on Tuesday, April 19th in TC 136. Time to see what Mother Nature has been cooking up. And being in Maryland, who knows? Here's Esteban Melgar with the Weekend Weather Report. Tired of spending weekends inside? Well, I have good news for you. We're reaching beautiful weather this weekend, starting on Friday, when we have a low of 39, but don't worry because the high will reach up to 70 degrees. Moving on to Saturday, which will be another beautiful day, except for a few scattered showers here and there. Uh, not to worry too much about those because there's only a 40% chance of that happening, but we have a high of 70 and a low of 47 on Saturday. On Sunday, the weather will drop just a little bit, but it won't be too bad. We're going to have a high of 57 degrees and a low of 36. That's all I have for you for the weather. I'm Esteban Melgar with MCM Focus, and enjoy your weekend. All right, everybody. That's all we've got for you today. This is Miguel Kino saying thanks for watching our show, and be sure to tune in next week for more MCM Focus. Stay classy, MC.